Okay, Red Cat Valkyrie. Just a quick comparison video. Stock diff, super stiff, loud. Crack the case open, pull the shim out. Freeze it up a lot. Smoother, quieter, a lot better. It's worth crack open and doing guys. Don't just run it and wait for it to try to heal up. There's a lot of friction, a lot of heat. These gears are big. They're not just gonna wear in like normal 6S ones will. 6S a little bit different. The teeth are not even close. Don't expect them to wear in guys. Crack them open, pull the shim. If need be, you can add it in later. There's the shim. It sits right underneath here. You gotta pull this off to get to that. It's a whole thing. Quick little tip guys to get all this out. There's a little grub screw in there. 0 0.05 to get it out. Uh, pro tip, goat guns tool for the SIG is the same size, fits perfect, um, good to go. That comes out, push that pin out, all this comes out, you get to that, that's a 2.0, that comes out both sides and the case opens up. Um, don't strip this, otherwise you'll be SOL as far as tuning. Um, yeah, don't strip this guy. Yeah, time for a little quick and nasty. It's got a little bit protruding up. I got it in this little groove. Hammer down, freeze it up. Go the other direction. Maybe it's free. Yeah, so then you push the pin out, break the Loctite. Pin goes there. New 2.0. This guy off. And you repeat it on the other side. Okay, with both of the yolks off. Go ahead and crack the case. Bulkhead, I don't, know, I don't even know what you call this. Half a bulkhead. Like my power tools, guys. Does that still count as a speed bit? You spin down here, speed it up. That's, this is the second speed. High speed, if you will. Gotta keep it in first gear for a little torque, then you can hit second gear. I like working with my hands. Quality time, exercise, not in a rush, enjoy it. Part of the hobby if it's such a dread. Spend all this money on RCs and stuff, and then hate working on it. And the wind is getting crazy out there. <clears throat> I 
All right. Crack the case. There's a shim. Give everything a look over. No grease, of course. Two bearings, smooth. Everything's nice, clean. There's not a spot of grease. Clean this bearing up. Case back together. Way better. Way better. When you go to put the screws back in, it might be easy to forget which way. You look over here, it's got a little angle. Obviously, you're not going to come in from that way, so you go this way. Nice and snug. Put the drive lines back on. Good to go, baby. Nice and smooth. All right, time to put the yolks back on. So slide the two sides together. A couple of mine had it extra Loctite in there, kind of gets in there. It's got a little bit of a groove. I don't know if you can, can see guys. You see the little indent? That's where the grub screw sits. The uh, Loctite gets in there, gets crusty, prevents it from sliding back and forth. I had a hell of a time with a couple of them. So anyways, work it back and forth a couple times. You can break that Loctite free, which will come loose on you. Then it's just a matter of lining up your holes. Push it back in. Aluminum versus steel. Aluminum will bend before, so don't feel too bad about using a little bit of love from aluminum. Steel on steel, not so much. Keep it aluminum on steel, the softer will always bend. It's the general rule. Slide this side in. extra to be even in between the both sides and then run your grub screw in you're done lock tight the sucker and you don't want it falling out trust me be like every other guy out there oh man my wheel fell off it's old Just a tad. Hmm. Close, don't over torque it. Almost tripped it. All right, do the other side. Almost done. Have this sucker ripping soon. Well. When the shot comes in. She'll be ready though. She won't be waiting on me. Oh, you turkey. It's 
snug it up, don't strip it. It's not a two inch bolt, you know, I gotta get crazy. I'm talking to myself, by the way. Don't get crazy. All right, done. Woo! Oh, it's like a earlier five. Cool, come slap them in. Go like this. Fastest way I know how to do this. Boom! Rear socks are missing right now, but it goes a lot smoother. So there you go, just a quick little comparison video. Um, yeah, hope that it helps. As always, straight jacket out.